technology changes, and of course, everybody likes it, including women. And here I have Melody from Liquid Image, who has some of the most fun and entertaining gadgets that a lot of us are going to use when it gets cold. And they all pertain to these little ski, ski masks and mobile cameras. And I remember when I thought, first bought my first mobile camera, it was from Oregon Scientific. It was a big bulky camera with the, the big chip and you know, not so much battery life that you try to attach to uh, your skateboard or to your bike. And now you begin to see uh, a lot of people uh, using those types of footages. And she has specialized, I should say her company has specialized in these types of devices. And they're owned by Liquid Image on the internet, liquidimage.com, correct? Liquidimageco.com. Okay, liquidimageco.com. So, Melly, tell us a little bit about these wonderful ski glasses because not only are they good looking, but they also have some interesting uh, tidbits to it because it's not just a ski mask, that just you know, a ski mask, but there's a camera built in. Yeah, we actually have some amazing technology built right into your ski goggles. And um, we'll start out with the features of HD 1080p at 30 frames per second, HD 720p at 60 frames per second so you can record really smooth video while you're boarding or skiing. Um, they also take 12 megapixel photos and they have a continuous shot mode so you can just turn it on and grab shots on the fly and you're not even having to press a button. Now that's fascinating because of course if you're skiing or, or skateboarding or snowboarding I should say, I haven't tried snowboarding. I'm sort of those slalom skiers where you get to the top of the hill and you just go as fast as you can down. I don't know, it's something about speed that I enjoy. But uh, at the people at the very end think I'm gonna crash into them and sometimes it's happened. But uh, that's the fascinating thing about being in the snow and having fun. But tell me some of the interesting features because this camera that's built in yeah. is not just a steady camera but it can do also what yeah. Um, you can actually angle the lens, so say you're a boarder, you might look down while you're riding. So this is going to help keep you in line if you look down, so your, your frame will be in line. Whereas a skier might use it in the up position. And then um, you can record up to 32 gigabytes of video or photos. And so, I mean, that's hours of video or hundreds or thousands of photos. So um, you can really get a lot in one little goggle. And, uh, this particular one will retail for around 400 next season, and we have other models currently on the market that also feature HD video. Now, we don't have it here, but they also have masks that go underwater, correct? Yes. So you specialize in these types of devices, and the fun thing about these devices that I enjoy is that they're not just static cameras, so if you have to adjust, you have to move your goggle, or you don't have to push buttons, or those types of things, and that's what... That's what I like about this. It's beautiful. First of all, it's a beautiful looking ski mask. And it comes in a variety of colors, correct? Yes, we have um, black and white with gray hydros. That's the print. And then we have um, alternate straps. So you can sort of customize your look. Now, you, as I mentioned, you also have underwater ski mask. And now tell me, how does that work and how long can yeah. you use it underwater? Because electricity and water don't mix. <laughs> well, yeah, you don't, you don't want to <laughs> have the water go into the compartments. We have highly engineered this um, scuba mask. So that um, it has a screw mechanism so that water cannot get in. We've got um, extra features on it too. I use those products. You can take them to 130 feet. I personally have taken them to 100. So um, I can guarantee you that it works. It takes amazing video. We also have HD video in the scuba mask as well. So there you got it. It's cameras that are mobile. But the hit this year is this little tiny device. And it looks like a little cosmetic case. Or what would you describe this as? It's something you can just throw in your bag and not have to worry about it, correct? Yeah, these are, are small, so they're portable, but they're mountable cameras. So um, what you can do is you can actually use it with this camera, or you okay. can use it alone. So you can mount this on a kayak or a bike, a, a skateboard, a snowboard, and um, you can face it forward, or you can even face it at yourself or from behind. So you can get a variety of shots. We call it the ego because a lot of people will point it at themselves and edit the footage in with another camera. All right, there you have it. See Cameras are pretty much everywhere, and it's estimated that daily you walk by, by 70, 70 to 80 cameras a day. So just think of going to your work, all the cameras you pass by. But now you can have your own personal camera where you can use it for uh, just hanging out if you're jogging or, uh, you know, kayaking tends to be, you know, kayaking is like coming of age. Uh, it is. Everybody I know is like kayaking. Yeah, and especially, um, you know, Southern California. I used to live there. I know a lot of people kayaked in that area. Um, anywhere where it's warm or you've got smooth water that's not too rough, uh, although there are the rapids. I avoid the rapids. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Also being, uh, we also found out that we also get come from the same college, UCSB. Yes. Gauchos. Gauchos. Gauchos in the house <laughs> representing. So if you ever get a chance to go up to Santa Barbara, enjoy the weather because these cameras not only capture uh, the weather, but also great, great memories. And what's the cost of these type of things? Because you know, people now are very conscious about products that. They want to be inexpensive and they don't want to be cheap. So tell yeah. me what is, well, how, how, um, what's the cost of it? I mean, on the little ego, the yeah. estimated retail is only $149. Okay. And then we're going up to $400 is our highest price point. And really for having all those electronics built into a really quality goggle, people are not having a problem with the price point at all. So. And as you can see, if you go skiing, just the pair of the, the lift tickets can get go. Yes, uh, yeah. exactly, like seventy to hundred dollars. Yeah, so it's uh, one third of the price of, yeah. uh, <laughs> of one day of skiing. Is it one day of skiing? <laughs> Here you have it. Her name is Mel her name is Melody, and of course a great friend of mine who's been here for five years. And what was the first product you started off with? Um, we had our Explorer Series Camera Mask, which is still one of our best sellers. You may have seen it in Sky Mall. Um, it's also been in Leslie Pool Supply and, and a variety of retailers. And now they've danced to all these varieties of different mobile cameras, so catch them on the Sky Mall magazine or online at www.liquidimageco.com. And there you have it, live from CES.